Huntsville, Georgia has the ball teed up at the 35. Sakori so Tolls back for UAW. He had a 100-yard kick return for his score back in the spring. Tolds will take this from the five. Tolds lost the football just shy of the 25, and the Lions may have it. They do. A turnover right away. And Drive down the field and put points on the board, and you see here a good job forcing the ball out there for UIW again cannot give this Cole Kelly offense in Southeastern a short field. And that's exactly what we'll see here as Big 15 comes on. Most prolific passers in the FCS, nine rushing touchdowns as well. He'll flip it out on second and long. Jesse Britt able to find space, and Britt brought down just past the UIW 25. Isaiah Paul misses the tackle. You're going to see number 21 come right there. Got to make that tackle in the backfield. Had an opportunity for no gain, set up a long third down. Instead, Southeastern picks up most. Blitz. Kelly throws. Catch made. Nolan Given, senior tight end from Berkeley, Michigan. These two teams only meeting this season. Kelly throws. Larvidane to catch with space. Dashes forward past the 45. It's going to be second and short. Kelly. Flips it out to Given, and Given past midfield for the second time. The tight end has picked up a third down conversion from the UIW 49. Play action. Kelly to the sideline, catch made. Enough for the first. That's Mitchell's second grab. He's soft. This is a, a comeback into the boundary. And you see there, you've got, I mean, that's five yards of cushion. Any quarterback in game late. First and 10. Kelly hands off, first carry to Ron Jones, and Jones to the sideline. He's out of bounds, but enough for the first. Ron Jones on the carry in the running back room for Southeastern. It's kind of running back by committee. We mentioned Cole Kelly as their leading rusher, but to Ron Jones, Jesse Britt. It's hard to be better than you were one year ago when you won the Walter Payton Award. Kelly may be just that. Throwing to a wide open Austin Mitchell on first down, and Mitchell is down just shy of midfield. Blitz. Kelly fires, catch made, and is that given again? <laughs> That's his third conversion on all three of his catches. Going to the tight end on third down and fourth down. They hit him again here. Also a good job by Jesse Britt, the running back in protection. UIW brings a field blitz. Free. Kelly in the lion attack. Throws again. Mitchell the catch. He has really good hands. A rare handoff. And Jones able to squeeze past the 25. Gain a seven to move the chains. Trips are bunched up to the right of Kelly, and now Johnson in motion. But the flip the other way goes to Jones. And Teron Jones into the red zone. 14 passing for 107. Looks to throw here with the blitz coming. Finds Larvidane, first down. He has so many targets to go to. Lar Kelly. Hammer down to the turf, lost his helmet, flag down. I'm really upset with that call. From the four, Kelly straight ahead, touchdown. Tenth rushing touchdown to lead the league. Attempt of the year. No question, that's between the uprights. All right, seven up, seven seconds to go, first quarter. We talked about Cole Kelly being used in the run game. You see there, they have no problem letting him get physical. Right, coming right at you. <laughs> I feel like we've already set his measurables three or four times in this. Of seven passing for 130 and a touchdown. He fumbles the snap and still gets it off as he's leveled down to the turf. That's an incomplete pass. Pass tip to the line. Alexis Ramos got it. The senior from Salinas, California. One to get open and pick up the first down. Ward going deep to the end zone, one in Grimes, incomplete. Rather chafe in the intended receiver, Zai Alexander, freshman from Lauraville, Louisiana, on coverage. I mean, the starter he has 116 passing yards today, and will look to throw here. Flipping it out to his tailback, and big contact just shy of the 30 yard line. Jones. Blitz on second and long. Kelly fires up the middle with a man open. Sliding grab made. Enough for the first easily. Pass midfield. Terrell Carter, junior from San Diego, California, makes his first grab. And another Southeastern player is down. 
48. Play action. Plenty of time, and Kelly fires wide open. Mitchell. Mitchell past the 20. His biggest gain of the day on his fifth. For the fourth time in their four drives today. Anthony Spurlock coming out of the slot position. He's running the go route. He's trying to take the safety with him, and they do just that. Austin Mitchell running. Two big throws for Kelly on their last two plays. They'll hand it off here to Jones, and Jones gets past the 10. They just get it off. Blitz coming. Kelly to the end zone and wide open. Given holds on. Touchdown. Five. No touchdown yet. Cole Kelly's looking around saying, who, who was it? And Frank Selfo disagrees with this call. Well, I'm not sure. This is a, a drop back pass scheme. I'm not sure why you'd have anybody downfield. I've got no idea who that's on. I think this is just a missed call by this crew. There, there was not an offensive lineman downfield on that play. They just have UIW rushes for all five of the offensive linemen stay in protection. Fans, I think this is just a, uh, it was a blown call. Rengifo from 36 yards. Kicks this one through. They're missing a chip shot on the Lions' first drive. Still, looked like the Lions should have had more. Should have had a chance to tie things up. It was created. I think that's a, a missed call there. Instead, a 35-yard run with no penalty. And Ward steps up in the pocket, has a man open, but instead, Alexander comes back and picks it off. Alexander's fifth interception of the season. Grimes was open, and Ward simply threw it too short. Lion football. Interception of the year. Came into this season eighth in the FCS in interceptions. And Cameron Ward, he's got a receiver open, just put more air on this. This is underthrown. Zy Alexander baits him into this and drops underneath it. But I think if Cameron Ward puts more air on this, throws it to that back pylon, this is probably a completion. Probably a touchdown even as Grimes had nothing but space between him and the corner of the end zone. The battle for first in the Southland Conference. First down handoff, short gain. It's the first kick. Blitz. Ward hammered as he throws. Incomplete to Farrell. He did not see Brandon Barbie coming on the corner blitz. He's got an open receiver in the middle of the field, as you'll see on the left side of your screen. Brandon Barbie but also does a good job hitting the quarterback on time. It's not a late hit, and also hits him in the right spot. Doesn't go up high. That's a really good job by 21. Five passing for 195. Throws on first down. Larvardane to grab. Kelly dumps it off to Given. Another first down catch for Given. All second down. Kelly dumps it off. Larva Dane. Nicole Kelly run. Blitz on first and 10. Kelly up the middle. Three. Kelly dumps it off. Jones first down. Again, South huge. Second down and seven for Cole Kelly in the Lion offense. Kelly swings it out. Brennan Dingle's first grab. Well, they went to Montana and lost to the Grizz. First and goal. Kelly, given, touchdown. No flag this time. Give Given the score. His third touchdown grab of the season. And Nolan Given again over the middle of the field. You see the success here. Finds a soft spot in the zone. A good touchdown there. We've seen Nolan given in, in a few different ways. So we have 51 catches and six touchdown grabs. As you see here, Cole Kelly working back to the middle of the field. But Nolan given all game today in the right spot, getting open. You see there, this is just working to the middle of the field. And UIW on that drive really gave. This Lion offense has it from their own 25. Jet sweep, Brennan Dingle, and able to turn the corner. That's close to a first down run. Brendan Richard, the tackle. Gain of nine, second and one. Kelly, plenty of time. Up the middle, that's a first down. Nick Kovacs, his first catch, junior from Springboro. Catch there. We saw earlier in the game, Nolan Given with the touchdown over the middle of the field. UIW has played a lot of single high, and in that look, Play action. To the sideline. 
Anthony Spurlock, he's the 11th Lion to have a grab today. So Kelly dumps it off. Gage Larvidane to catch him. Plenty of space. Larvidane stays on his feet. 5'10", 160, the freshman takes it to the three, first and goal. And getting every inch out of that reception to use him as the check down here, really. And you see that much space that 82 has with the ball in his hands. We've talked about his ability with it, once he has the ball in his hands, run after catch and running with the ball in his hands. You see there the physical run at the end as well. 20 yards on the reception. Kelly, straight run, touchdown. Second rushing touchdown today, 11th on the season to lead the Southland. And he Gifo's 53rd PAT attempt of the season. He's made 48 of them. Just what the doctor ordered for Southeastern. And Cole Kelly, the reigning Walter Payton Award winner for the best player in the FCS in the spring. He wants back-to-back -back awards. Six in the nation. Kelly on second down. Plenty of time. Given the catch. Takes a shoulder pop, but holds on past the first down marker. And a Labetchi. Good spot. Nolan Given is running the shallow cross. UIW is playing man defense. Nolan Given comes open. But, man, what a shot there at the end by Cole. First and 10. Kelly fakes the handoff. Pressured. And after faking the shovel pass, it frees him up for a few more yards. And Kelly is brought down for a gain of no. Blitz. Larvidane had to bobble it, and spinning away enough for the first with Brandon Bowen on. Take a look here. Larvidane bobbles it initially, and just like you mentioned, with Brandon Bowen hanging all over. Gain confidence. Eight catches for Larvidane today. Kelly on first down finds Austin Mitchell in their, their base offense and have this many plays effectively. Second and five play action all day. Kelly going deep, wanting Mitchell. Catch made, touchdown. We've seen that so much from UIW today. And there, halfway through the third, Southeastern has its biggest offensive play this afternoon to cut the deficit to five. There's the home run ball with Austin Mitchell getting behind the defense. Little play action, roll out, half roll and set up for Cole Kelly, and you see here, I think he probably could have pulled the trigger a little bit earlier than he did, but still an accurate throw to Austin Mitchell, who catches it with the defense. Second and eight. DeLone, Givens, the catcher, rather, that's Drabowski. Slung out of bounds. Hot men on the line for UAW. They bring five on third down. Kelly, catch made, that's Carter and should be enough for the first. With pressure coming, Kelly able to deliver. And you and beat his man. You see here Terrell Carter coming from the slot position, working on the shallow, and that is a man beater. That's why you run the shallow cross into. He did seven, Carter got eight from the 46, first and 10. Kelly lobbing it up the middle, Kovacs the catch, takes a hit but holds on. W 35, Sean Holton on the stop. Another big pickup here. That's what I was trying to say earlier about Southeastern how mature their offense is. They are on the field this much, and they don't really have very many negative plays, and that's the mark of a mature offense. First and 10, blitz. Kelly, wide open up the middle again. Ed McGee, sophomore from Kentwood, Louisiana, puts the Lions in the red zone once more. Kelly and hands it off in the jet sweep to Carter. Tripped up, but still a five yard gain. Fourth and five. Kelly, catch me, touchdown, Larvidane. What a response by the Lions offense. Larvidane working on the slant route. Spaces out to the top. A good job beating his man across the face on the slant. And Larvidane shows up again when they need him. And once again, as the Rengifo PAT is through, a four-point game. We get to take a break. Still 2.36 to go in the third. You know not to go anywhere.
blitz. Ward in trouble. Grimes hauled it in, but was the inbounds. Line judge down here is, is saying no. I think this. Ward pressured. Sacked. An incompletion would have been one thing. It'd be fourth and two, but what does Eric Morris decide to do here? Southeastern defense, at least in the last couple quarters, UIW is trying to set up a screen back to the left, but there's just too much pressure. And, and like I was talking about, Southeast. Kelly from his end zone. Checks down. Jones the grab. And Lebecci brings him down. Three tickets to this one. And what a fun one. Third down eight. Cole Kelly is back. Awaits the shotgun snap. Flag down. Kelly throws. Dingle the catch. First down and more. Slung down past the 40. Let's see what the flag is all about. For a, a false start, and you'll see here, defensive linemen move over to the neutral zone. I believe that big 93 Cameron Preston. Yes. And so Dingle. Kelly swings it out. Jones, plenty of space. Cuts it back a second time and brought down just shy of the UIW 40. Flag is down around the line of scrimmage. Holding on Southeastern. Let's we'll see if we get another look at this, but Cole Kelly gets it to his check down. Good job working through his protection or, or progression here, but we'll see at the top. I think they get the right guard, Ethan McMullen, number 70, who was complaining to Ed Bourgeois about the call. And could have gone really either way there. I think they've... Kelly pressured. Now plenty of space. 6-7 senior rumbles past the original line of scrimmage. You know, the other way to look at your penalty yardage is it's an opportunity to just put up more total yards. Well, in this game. <laughs> they immediately get it back, and Cole Kelly does a good job. We talked about him working through his progression. He that does it does that exactly there. Realize yep, with 13:23 to go, second and nine. Kelly dumps it off. Larva Dane, oh, leaps over a man, and as he falls down hard, he has enough for the first. They just needed two plays to pick up the 20 yards. Get it, get what you can get. Don't try to force it. Never go broke making a profit. And these six, seven, eight yard completions. Second down, blitz. Kelly steps up, catch made, McGee holds on, enough for the first. Kelly was falling down as he released the football. That play right there perfectly embodies what we've talked about with Cole Kelly and his accuracy under pressure. He's got people around him, he's stepping up in the pocket. And you see here with people all over him and around him, delivers the ball accurate on time and there's a defender. Kelly, wide open, Spurlock, past the 15, another first down. That is Southeastern's 34th first down of the game. Rare handoff, Jones with room, Teron Jones. First and goal. Quickly to the line, Kelly, Jones, waiting for the call. Touchdown. He's an 11th of his career, and here it is again. Went against the tendency. I thought they would have Cole Kelly finish this off, but they give it to, to Ron Jones. Ward on first down, lobbing a pass, and Chafin tried to spin back and get it. Ty, or Zion Alexander, rather, with great cover. Ward with a blitz coming. All the way back behind us on 35. And as he falls down, he's able to get the ball away. Coordinator Raymond Monica continue to do this in these passing downs because we've seen when Cameron Ward has time and has a clean pocket, or if you just rush three, that. The Lions just bring three. And oh, McAllister, or McCullough rather, dropped the football, his second drop. Unit on. I think if this ball is caught, UIW goes for this because they would have been about two or three yards shy of the first down. But 
You got Indiana up 45-42. First down. Kelly looks to run. Almost to the first down marker. 14 unanswered and looking for more. Second and 10. Kelly dumps it off yet again. Oh, Given stays on his feet. Made Caleb Colt pay. Colt hangs on. Another third and short coming for Southeastern. Third and two. Here comes Kelly. Just lowering his shoulder, and I think he has enough. Just barely. 94 for Southeastern here. First and 10. Another dump off. Larva Dane. Under seven minutes to go. Jones, another carry. Now Frank Selfo's thinking, let's take a little more time off the clock here. That's a nice first down carry of about four. Buck down to three. Kelly with the blitz coming. Quick out. Catch Dingle. Enough for the first. Col four down territory for the Cardinals. Ward, delayed handoff. Kevin Brown, not much. Sterling Fisher, the lion there. It's all like Laney talked about, just 53 yards on the ground today. Second and nine. Ward, incomplete. Looking for Chafin. Southeastern brings four. Again, plenty of time. Southeastern brings four. Again, plenty of time. Southeastern brings four. Again, plenty of time. Now Ward will just shovel it to Brown, and Brown a burst of speed. Kevin Brown still going. He stumbles and still stays on his feet. A touchdown. At the 10 yard line, but you see here, Cameron Ward steps up in the pocket, and you see the shovel pass. First and 10. Kelly swings it out. Jones, plenty of space down the sideline. They're already close to midfield. Kelly dumps it off Larvidane this time. Another first and more. 14 on the grab. I imagine if you ran as much as Larvidane has in this game, I probably would be cramping up too. Hopefully he can get, he, he comes off to the sideline here getting stretched out. Hope. Kelly gets the snap. Blitz. Wide open, given. Into the red zone again. Pressure. We've seen this run a couple different ways today, but they leave the tight end open right in the middle of the field, and Nolan Given again makes them pay. Kelly, Given open, rumbling through past the five. First, that's to go. Kelly to the corner, another touchdown. They just take two minutes, 10 seconds off the clock, the 25. Ward zips it up the middle, too low on second and 10. Ward dashes out of the pocket and down the sideline, too high and complete. He was wanting Beggy. Kelly. Wide open, Mitchell. That'll stop the clock, because that's the first down right around the UAW 45, third and 10. Kelly on the drag, it's Dingle out of bounds. 